There was a security problem at the Pima County Elections Office that has critics questioning whether election results can be trusted. The questions come from this picture. It's from a round-the-clock video feed of the counting room. Anyone can watch it online. Pima County's elections director concedes it shows a worker broke a security seal on a computer without any witnesses looking on. Kagan 9 on your sides, Craig Smith talked to critics and county officials about what this means for the election. Well, guys, to show ballots are handled properly, Pima County wants you to be able to see the counting room live. Here's what that looks like. This is actually some video we captured a little bit earlier. But an election, were, an election watcher rather, saw something up in one corner that the county concedes was a violation of how election data should be handled. The counting room had been doing a test run to make sure the machines are accurate. Witnesses were looking on. The county determined the machines worked just fine and it put a security seal like this one on the computer cabinet. It shows the word void if anyone moves it. But later in the day, election watcher John Brakey was viewing the video feed of the room when he captured this close-up of a worker opening that sealed cabinet without proper witnesses. And I can only speculate what they were doing because why would you do it in secret? Pima Elections Director Brad Nelson says the man was removing simulated votes left over from the test, but he did break procedure because he should have had witnesses. The county says it tested the equipment again and sealed it again. But Brakey thinks something more sinister was going on. Now, are you saying somebody was trying to fix the election? Yeah. Yeah. What else would they be doing in there? Do you really believe they went in there to push a button to wipe it out? And this would be at whose behest? Uh, the man who runs this department, Chuck Huckleberry. This election does ask voters to decide if Pima County should sell millions of dollars in bonds to pay for a long list of projects. So we asked the county administrator about the accusation. Absolutely incorrect, absolutely false, absolutely a figment of someone's imagination. Now, County Supervisor Allie Miller also looked into what that election worker did. She says there are people who worry about county elections because they think the election that approved the creation of the Regional Transportation Authority was fixed. The Arizona Secretary of State and court rulings did decide that election was accurate and valid. She would like to see the election worker who broke protocol barred from the counting room, at least until he's retrained. Craig, thank you.